all right guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be sharing with you with you guys my experience with the ccna the new one and i'm going to be sharing with you guys also some tips and some recommendations that you that you must know for you to pass the test okay now i have taken the ccna before and it was the old one i believe it was called the ccna 100-125 and let me tell you, I failed, okay? So now you may be wondering, why did I fail? Well, I failed, one, because I was rushing through the process and I did not have enough time to finish the, all, all the material. And second, um, I had no idea what the test was going to be like in terms of like how long it was going to be, um, if there were going to be any laps, any simulations. And I didn't know how much of the material that, would, that was actually shown in the study guide was going to be on the test, okay? Now, the, I know that's no excuse. I was, not, I was also not prepared. I did not feel confident going to the test. And, well, you learn from your mistakes, right? But um, I, was, I took the test again last week, the new CCNA, the, the, the 200-301, okay? And let me show you guys my score for the test, okay? So with this test, it was pretty good. I got a 953 out of 1,000, okay? And of course, it was all the dedication, all the work that, you, that I put in towards it, okay? But let's leave that aside. And I want to share, share with you guys my experience and what I had to go through, like what was my study, um, what was the, the study material, and how I was able to pass the test uh, with that with that score, okay? So, first of all, um, you're gonna need at least four to six months to pass a test, okay, to know the material. And one thing that many people does not know is the best way to learn this material, okay? Because there's so many concepts, so many technologies that you need to know for a test, it's hard to remember all of the topics, okay? So the best way for you to learn these topics is if you do some labs, but not only that, you have to make sure that you create some scenarios, some real life scenarios, so that your brain processes that information, that information better. Okay. Um, in my later videos, I'm gonna be creating a course um, for the exam, and I'm gonna be again, you know, I'm gonna be showing you the labs, and I'm gonna be creating these real life experience, real life scenarios so that your brain is able to process that information because trust me when the test comes you don't want to be that person that memorizes all the questions because one if you are you know looking to get this ccna to improve your career to get a better job or you know to get a a, a right um, a rise in, a raise in your income or if you're transitioning to another job and for the better, then it's going to be important for you to understand these topics, being able to explain these topics to, to the people you're working with or maybe even the employer who's going to hire you, okay? So that's one thing. I'm going to be sharing those tips with you in my coming up videos, okay? But going back to, to my experience, okay? So after I failed a test, which was in March or late February, um, I, you know, there were some new topics on the new, and the new CCNA. So what I had to do is go over all the other topics that I already knew and then also learn the new topics, okay? Now, what, what made it easier for me to, be, to remember these things was the fact that um, I was able to exercise, okay? And to be able, again, and, and uh, you're gonna see myself repeating this because it's really important that you are actually creating a scenarios for each technology. And when I say a scenarios, giving real life examples on where or how you would use these technologies in a real environment, okay? It's very important that you know that, okay? now. Um, again, on my on my next videos, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some study tips that you need to know, okay? And I'm also gonna be going over the study guide 
and I'm gonna be telling you guys what are the topics that you need to focus on the most because trust me there are gonna even though you're gonna see all the topics in the exam there are some topics that you need to master because most of the questions in the test are gonna be related to that and for example one of those could be it is uh, subnetting and the routing protocol the routing protocols okay so that's all I wanted to share with you guys today um, I know the video is kind of short but I just wanted to share my experience with the test um, by the way the other thing I forgot to mention um, the test was a hundred and two questions okay and they give they're gonna give you two hours the test is gonna be two hours long okay now me because I was able to uh, not only uh, master the information but also understand each topic I was able to finish the test in less than an hour and a half okay that's all it took me and trust me I could have finished the test in an hour but while I was going through while I was going through the last questions I kind of relaxed a little bit so I was like I'm just gonna take my time but it's not to brag it's just to show you that I felt really confident going to the test and that what made and that's what made it easier for me okay so I'm gonna be uh, I'll, I'll see you guys on my next video and don't forget to um, study the right way and make sure you're here for the next one all right so I'll see you later